So we've been coming since mid-January, and we've been putting together lesson plans at first just to kind of get them introduced to the basics of engineering and, like, math and science stuff. So we taught them about circuits and, like, Ohm's Law, and then we went into a little bit of coding and a little bit of the CAD modeling, because a lot of the car that they're building, they can have the option of 3D printing different things that they design, and then they can also design like, whatever they want, like the new thing with, like, fidgets. Widgets, fidgets, fidgets, fidgets. <laughs> We've been helping them design n new ones, and uh, they can 3D print them, and then they have their own personal fidget, too. And we also taught them about aerodynamics, so we brought in a smoke machine and a bunch of cardboard, and we filled the entire room with smoke, and we had them run around with cardboard to show them how air flows past, like, bigger objects and um, how that can affect, like, the shape of the car that they're building. Because you don't want it to just be square in the front because that's going to be blocking a lot of air and coming from my aerospace background. Like, uh, well, my aunt works at NASA at Ames Research Center in Mountain View, and so that had a pretty good impact on what my decision for my major was because she set up a tour for me to go and walk around the... Um, the research center and like I got to stand in the wind tunnel and just being in there and seeing all the different ways that like teamwork can come together to accomplish something that you like so scientific like that was stuff that was in sci-fi before we were able to get up into space and um, so like just thinking about like new frontiers and being part of that is what got me interested and then plus the engineering aspect like, I really like science and math and fixing things that are broken